Hello, I'm Grant from Makers Vlog and VHF Repeaters. What are they? Well, VHF is very high frequency, um, which is used for a lot of uh, amateur radio communication. So HF and VHF are the, are the main sort of ones that, that we would use. Um, VHF is line of sight, so if you can see it, you can talk to it as a general rule of thumb. So why do we need repeaters? Well, if you think of being in a built up area, like, you know, loads of houses and loads of things in your way, your line of sight is greatly reduced. So if you put something up on a hill that can take that signal and, and, and rebroadcast it, well, you've got a lot more rage. Yes? Understand? No? Well, let, 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 me, let me elaborate. So, let's say this is you, this is your wee antenna. And that's the person you're trying to talk to. Now, if it looked like this and the earth was flat, which it's not, you'd be able to talk to them fine. However, if you put a mountain in the way, you now can't talk to them. Your signal is not going to go through that, not even slightly. So, and even, even notwithstanding a mountain, even if you just have buildings in the way, so, oops. So let's let's change colours for buildings, shall we? So you have, you know, buildings there, or smaller buildings. Very rectangular city, this. So you've got buildings in your way. Now, buildings are not quite as bad as a mountain in that you, the VHF signal could probably, probably get through a few of them. Um, generally, when you're in a built-up area, you're restricted to maybe about 10 kilometers or so, give, give very, that's very rough. It's, there's so many factors, it's, it's very hard to say, but there is, there is a general rule of thumb um, offhand. I think it's about 10 kilometers in a built up area, it might be five actually. Um, but let's say these are two separate cities and they are maybe, eh, I'm gonna change up my measurements here, I apologize, but say they are about 10 miles apart. Um, and you have a mountain, and this is in the background. So, this is behind the city a bit, and let's actually make that a bit shorter so I can draw on top of it. Okay. So, there's a mountain in the background, which is very similar to the way um, there is a, a repeater near me and it's a similar way to the way it works. Um, on top of that mountain, you would put a repeater. And what happens there then is you would transmit to the repeater and the repeater would then broadcast that out on all the directions. It's, it's so many directions, it'll go everywhere. And if the person you're trying to talk to, if they can see that repeater, they can then talk to you. And it then increases your range, I mean you can get few hundred miles, maybe even uh, maybe even more depending on how clear of a day it is. But you can get that. If you can talk to the repeater, you can talk to anyone else who can see it. Now, how do they actually work? Because you might know that you can't, re you cannot, um, or at least on, on most radios anyway, you can't transmit and receive at the same time. They are, they're one way. So the way a repeater gets around this is that it has two frequencies. One, that it uh, receives on, oh, that's, that's a five. So one that it receives on and one that it transmits on. So for the sake of argument, we'll put 600 and that's RX and that's TX. So 145.500 megahertz is its receive frequency and 145.600 is its transmit seek frequency. Um, now, that, if you're in the UK, you'll know that that's wrong because 145.500 is actually the calling frequency um, for VHF in the area, so um, that wouldn't actually be used. But for the sake of this, it'll do. So most VHF radios, um, I wanna say all, but I'm not 100% sure, but at, at the very least, most of them have a thing called an offset and it's used specifically for talking to um, VHF repeaters. And what it does is it will 
listen on the output frequency, so 145.6. But as soon as you press the pressle, the push to talk button, it will automatically switch to whatever you've predefined the offset. So for this, it, uh, we, would uh, we would set it to uh, minus 0.1, which would then say, okay, so it's this, the 145.6 is what you're listening on, but you actually want to transmit on 145.5. And so what happens is whenever you press the pressel, it automatically takes, uh, changes the frequency to the receive frequency of the VHF repeater. You talk, it goes into the repeater, the repeater then boosts it and blasts it out on the output frequency, and then everyone else can hear it. And that's it. That's all it is. Simple, stupid. And it's also similar to the way that the um, your mobile phone works. Um, the same way that your phone connects to, there will be a... a master for one of a better word a repeater um, that your phone will connect to uh, to send phone calls and all that but uh, I'm going to do another video specifically about mobile phones and the way they communicate because it's very interesting but yeah that's it that's how a repeater works